Hi guys, uh, 5877 here, and I have an Insignia speaker review today. First of all, I'm going to be going over some of the outer features of the device, and uh, then I'm going to show you some of the, um, like, tech features inside, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, first of all, it has a nice big screen right here, so you can watch uh, movies and TV shows and music videos off of your iPad or iPhone. And, um, also, um, it'll show your album art when you're listening to music on this. You can look through your music on the big screen right here. And down here, you can see that it has a big speaker bar. And um, then, over here, we see it has a USB port, which I have plugged. I have a USB plugged in. Um, I There's a camera thingy, my labber, or whatever. Um, there's a line in right there. And I think that can uh, do headphones too. Yeah, it's like that. Um, and the power adapter thingy, my bobber, right there. Um, on this side, there's an SD card slot and uh, another camera thingy. And down here, you can see it says iPod, push to open. You push this, that thing pops out. Uh, and you pop this up. And there you have a little rest for your iPod. Now I am going to plug my iPod in. And it will start charging. And as you can see, it started charging immediately. And, uh, yeah. Um, now I'm going to turn this on. Insignia Digital Picture Frame. Uh, it tells you the time down here, time and date. Uh, it shows you the picture you have on your USB and um, or on your SD or whatever your uh, photos things are on. Um, and now up here on the top, it says display right there. When I click on that, um, you will see that it changes and the photos look different and the date moves around and everything. Um, in this one, there isn't a date or time. Uh, I like that one. And there's another one. Okay, that's the one. That's all of them. Um, and now I'm going to show you some of the buttons on the top. Play, pause, the thing you move around with. Back, menu, display, home, sleep timer, volume, and power. And the snooze, wake button right there. Um, and I also forgot to tell you guys, this has a remote. So you can control, like, your iPad or whatever just by being across the room if you're at, like, a party or something. You can sl slip it in your pocket and walk around at your house or whatever. But, um, so yeah, now I am going to click the menu button. Or, yeah, uh, I'll play, I'll click the home button. And as you can see, all this stuff pops up. And then you can go around and click on whatever. Photos. And uh, it'll show you what devices you have plugged in, which my, I have the USB plugged in, so I can click on that. And then it'll show you the photo that I have on it. Um, <laughs> the reason my iPod is doing that is because whenever you're on a different thing and not iPad, it'll do that. And, uh, I am going to say one thing about the iPod or iPhone feature. Um, well, like, when I'm sleeping, like, at night, I hear my iPod go off. Uh, well, at least this was happening before. I keep, I kept her hearing my iPod go off during the night and, like, make that, but like, that beeping noise that notifies you that it's charging. Um, and that, uh, happened to be because something in the settings, which I'm not really going to get into, but, um... So I fixed that, so it's not really something to worry about. I would still buy this product. So when I click on iPod, it takes me to this. And you can see your video, music, uh, iPod Direct Control, and Setup. First, I am going to show you music. 
And there we go. It shows you all your things. I'm going to go to artists. And uh, it shows you all your artists. And uh, you can click on them. And I'm going to have the volume down because it's copyrighted if I play it in the video. But I'm going to click play. And then uh, it should show you the album artwork in a minute. And um, the only bad thing is, is that you cannot control this like on your iPod. You have to do it on the thing. And right now, as you can see, it shows you the album artwork on your iPod or iPhone too. If I go to music, it'll say accessory connected. So you cannot control it on your iPod or iPhone, which is I think really, is really stupid. Um, and uh, when I go to TV shows or whatever, you can just do that. But I don't have any videos on my iPod right now, so I can't really show you guys that. Um, so overall, this is a really nice speaker system. I recommend buying one. Um, I think this is, I don't know what the price is because I got this for Christmas, but, um, I'm guessing it's probably, um, maybe 90 to a hundred dollars, maybe. I'm not sure, you guys have to look it up, but, um, yeah. Alright guys, I'll probably post in the video on a not uh, notation how much it really costs. Um, okay guys, thanks for watching, this has been 5A77, um, and I'll make another video soon, but, uh, from then on, or from until then, bye.